hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far we have uh, discussed about uh, the recording electrodes the basic concepts related to recording electrodes and about the electrode skin interface where we have discussed the first part which is the metal electrolyte interface so i would recommend you to please watch those two videos first and then you watch this video so that you understand it in a better way so we know that uh, in the biomedical measurement system electrodes are used to pick up the bioelectric signals from the uh, body be it ECG, EEG, EMG, temperature measurement, blood pressure or any other physiological parameter and the electrodes depending on their type or nature in which they are applied it is of two types surface electrodes and deep seated electrodes. So, whether any type of electrode is used, it comes in contact with the skin, okay, the upper layer of the body, the covering. Now, because of the contact between the metallic electrode and the skin, we come across this electrode skin interface, okay. And again, this electrode skin interface can be divided into two parts. This electrode electrolyte interface and the electrolyte skin interface. So this is what I am talking about. So let's say this is the uh, specific part of the body where the, bio, the biomedical measurement has to be done. So this is the electrode which is placed on the specific body part with the help of this electrode paste or jelly to achieve proper adhesion, firm contact. And this is the skin. So this interface, because of the contact between the electrode and the electrolyte is called as the electrode-electrolyte interface. And this interface, okay, because of the contact of the electrolyte with the skin is called as the electrolyte skin interface. We have already discussed this. Here we'll discuss about the electrode uh, electrolyte skin interface so so this interface how can we understand this okay one way to visualize this to understand this is to think of the skin okay this skin okay this uh, yellow portion we can visualize it as a diaphragm okay an elastic membrane which is surrounded by ions okay positive and negative ions cations and anions on both sides the electrolyte it also contains ions and also the body fluids they contain ions we know that uh, it is because of the ionic movement in the body fluids the action potential is carried from one point to another point the most common ions that are present are sodium, potassium, chloride ions, okay, Na+, K+, Cl-, and also the electrolyte, it contains ions. So, we can visualize the skin as the diaphragm, which is, this, uh, which, which is between the two solutions, the electrolytic jelly, the electrode paste, and the body fluids. Now, because of this, an electric potential is generated which is of non-physiological nature along with the biopotential along with the physiological signal of interest because of this arrangement another extra non-physiological or non-biopotential is generated which is mostly called as the contact potential so how can we represent this in electrical terms so one way of representation is this Okay, so you can think of it as a parallel plate capacitor kind of arrangement. Okay, positive and negative charges separated by a uh, some uh, medium. So one way to represent this is this. Okay, we have this potential contact potential arising because of this arrangement. Then we have two resistors and capacitors connected in a parallel series arrangement. 
So here, what does these resistors, capacitance, resistance and this potential represent? So as I said, this potential is the contact potential arising because of this arrangement of two electrolytic solutions with the skin acting as a diaphragm in between. The capacitance, it represents the capacitance associated with the metal electrolyte interface because of this charge separation, this charge arrangement. And the resistance is the conditions associated with the migration of ions, the mobility of ions, both the positive and negative ions associated with this electrolyte and the body fluids. Suppose the uh, signal which is available from this body part, how easily can it migrate, can it penetrate through this uh, region, okay, this interface between the electrolyte and skin and reach the electrode that is governed by this resistance okay so c is the capacitance associated with this charge layer the charge uh, whatever the charge arrangement here is the resistance is the conditions associated with the mobility of ions the migration of ions and e is the contact potential so in order to simplify it we can represent it in this way Okay, just simply a resistor connected in series with the capacitor and then the contact potential. Okay, so this is all the things that are that we have discussed and then <clears throat> the voltage at the electrolyte skin interface as we have already I have told you there are two signals that are available to the electrode. One is the contact potential which is the electric potential of non-physiological or origin because of this charge separation and the second one is the biomedical signal of interest be it the ECG signal or EEG signal or EMG signal or any type of signal that we want to measure. So this contact potential if, it, uh, if, if its value is high it can mask the original biological signal of interest. So our objective is to keep this contact potential uh, at a low value and for that proper signal conditioning and processing is required to remove this contact potential so that we can get exactly the value of the biological signal. So the factors which affect the contact potential is the type of skin, the nature of the skin, okay, whether uh, it is a dry skin or moist or whatever the skin properties that are which is best known to the medical professionals. Then is the skin preparation. Skin preparation means how the skin is uh, prepared for measurement before. Okay, how uh, the measurements are done, how this electrode is placed. The and the other one is the electrolyte or electrode paste or jelly which is used to achieve adhesion. So these are the factors that affect the contact potential value. Okay, so this is very much similar to the metal electrolyte interface okay the metal electrolyte interface there also we had the electrical double layer potential which was because in bulk because of the electrode potential there also we had a resistance and capacitance which represented the charge migration and the charge store so most the the electrical representation for both the metal electrolyte and electrolyte skin interface is the same and the concepts are the same but there it was the electrical double layer potential here is the contact potential there it was the metal discharging the ions into the solution and here we have the electrolyte the ions in the electrolyte and the ions in the body fluids with the skin in between them which acts as the diaphragm so these are some of the basic differences between the two so here we have discussed about the electrolyte skin interface the second part of the electrode skin interface. So the electrode skin interface discussion is complete. We have discussed both the uh, parts. We have discussed the basic concepts associated with it and uh, the electrical representation and the factors affecting the various uh, things associated with the electrolyte skin interface. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much